you're telling a lot of tractor history and farming history, but mm -hmm. really it's the last hundred years. Before that, it was horse and plow. Like, it was drastically uh, dif different. A little longer, but yeah, for basics, a uh, hundred years. Was it the 30s that, like, rubber tires came out over steel? Yeah, the WC would have came out actually probably late 20s because the first John Deere with rubber tires would have been a B in 1930. Five. So the WC would have been probably a couple years ahead of that. Alice got one thing. They got their rubber tires. They got first. rubber tires. Way to go, Alice. That's, you know, <laughs> and then it went downhill from there. Right. They peaked early. Yeah. Think about the advancement in tractors in that short amount of time. What's the next hundred years do? So I consider agriculture like rolling a snowball. So we started out with this little tiny snowball and we rolled it over once we doubled the size of it right and it's like oh you didn't even notice it doubled then you rolled it again now pretty soon after about 50 years it got to be this big at 75 years it got this big and now every time we roll it over one more year the damn thing gets so big. enormous it's no different than the farmland thing when i hear guys say all the time well i mean i can remember that piece sold for three hundred dollars when i was a kid yeah. you know or whatever and they go can you believe it now what it's selling for you know say twelve thousand dollars etc yeah. and it's like well when it went from 300 to 600 it was the same ratio as going from five to yeah. ten thousand but people have a hard time accepting that